Because the Serengeti will go to Tanzania, <laughs> I want to take the Savo West, the Chulu Hills National Park. Mm -hmm. It is a protected ecosystem with the very taken around communities that are both pastoral and some farmers. Mm -hmm. So what the so the habitat is mostly savanna eh? yes, to have an idea yes. and big wildlife, yeah. lots of tourists. Mm -hmm. Big game. So the three most important for local people is grazing for the Maasai cattle and also herbal medicine for the Akamba community that is living next, that is in the second one. And the third would always be getting fuel, actually second would be fuel wood, the third firewood, would be yeah. firewood, then medicine, herbal also. medicine mm -hmm. would be third. So we have fodder, yes. firewood, and medicine, medicine. <laughs> very important to the local people. Yes. And what do you think are the most important for the more higher level? For the managers, this is aesthetic, should be conserved, not to be utilized for tourism. So that tourism is, is probably world. providing a lot of money as well? Yes. That's number one. The second one for managers would be conserving the ecosystem because it's a water catchment for mm -hmm. Shimba Hills for Mombasa. Mm -hmm. by the way. So it's a water catchment for what is the second biggest city in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously pretty important. Yes, so that would be protection for that. And then the third would just be for the biological in conservation. Diversity. Yeah. So yeah. for the biodiversity. So we can see very different priorities by different groups of people. Eh? Mm -hmm. Good example. Let's go here first. Yes, an example from Congo? Yes, from Congo I take an example of Kauzi Biega National Park and the Tombe National mm -hmm. uh, Natural Reserve. Natural Reserve. So this so is mostly rainforest, eh? just to have an idea. Yeah. They have gorillas, not the mountain gorilla like in Rwanda, the lowland eastern gorilla, Graue gorilla, and chimpanzees and elephants, just to have an idea. It's also a rainforest <laughs> but quite big animals as well. Yeah. So, uh, management of these two protect area mm -hmm. is different. In Kauzi Biega National Park, it is a national park. So, uh, local community haven't access. They cannot enter, enter the forest. In forest. At least legally. Yes. <laughs> but in uh, Itombwe, somehow people are allowed to enter in, in reserve. So, for local community in uh, there, medicine mm -hmm. to found medicine and spiritual activity so place for ceremonies yeah. for instance, yes place of ceremony for, for example for entronizing a king the Moami. so in this area the different tribes have a local king it's called moami mm -hmm. and they have the celebration of the old king dying and also the new one becoming king it has to happen in the forest yeah. So this forest is very important for them to be allowed these ceremonies to continue as part of the culture. Yeah. Yeah. And then food availability. Food. Mm -hmm. Honey. Honey. Bush meat. Bush meat. Mushrooms and so caterpillars on. and so on. Yeah. yeah. Now for the managers. For the manager, there I take an example of Kauzi Biega mm -hmm. National Park. In the large city Bukavu, there is a drought of water. Mm -hmm. So we've heard of UK. There is a project which water means water would come from uh, mm -hmm. Biega National Park to the city. To the city. So it's also a very important water catchment for one of the biggest cities in Eastern Congo, Bukabo. Yeah. And again, Biega National Park, it is the presence of a, a gorilla, mm -hmm. which may be a come to tourism, and mm -hmm. this may give money to government to supply something, even. If it's not too developed yeah. at the moment, but still, they yeah. have gorillas and tourists go and visit it. So maybe at the local, at the local level, it's not the same priority as the managers, where it's mostly look the water catchment and uh, potential for tourism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Another example. <laughs> okay, let's try to go around the room quickly. Eh? <laughs> Next example from Uganda. Yes. Yeah, my example is Mavira Central Forest Reserve. Um, so it's a forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which big animals do you have? In the forest, uh, mainly there are these primates, the monkeys. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why it is very important to policy makers, to the managers, is because it's a water catchment for Lake Victoria, which is mm -hmm. the second biggest freshwater lake mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been sort of encroached. Mm -hmm. So managers are actually, there are efforts for restoration. The forest, yeah. Yeah, they are trying to restore the degraded parts. 
So it's very important for climate stabilization, mm -hmm. but also for tourism, because mm -hmm. uh, most tourists, tourists go there for zip lining. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Then for the local community, uh, there are 27 enclaves in that forest, mm -hmm. those ones which have mm -hmm. the communities. Yeah, they live there, yeah. yeah. So they mostly depend on the forest for medicinal plants. Mm -hmm. Medicine. Mm, fuel, wood fuel. Firewood, yeah, to cook. And wild, wild, and wild fruits as well, for foods. Mm -hmm. So we can see another conflict of interest eh, here. Next example, mm -hmm. from Rwanda? Yes. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about the Nyung forest, mm -hmm. the protected forest, and the people are getting, I mean, the local people are getting uh, water and water, firewood, yes. yeah, firewood, and also the people are getting rain. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Local climate regulation, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the new forest is the source of rain and fresh water, mm -hmm. fresh air, yeah, yeah. Uh, another important. Uh, it has some important species, plant species, uh, which are a source of um, uh, honey. Yeah. Honey? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they help provide honey, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what do the managers the think manager is more important? Get, uh, the forest is very important to tourist activities. Tourist, yes. yes. They have chimpanzees, is it? And so people go and yes, see? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, another point for Pocono's National Park here in Uganda also protected one. Mm. Uh, it is a source of water. Yeah, so also for water catchment. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we can also see differences, eh? Good. Okay. South Africa? Yes, um, oh, we use the Kruger, the famous mm -hmm. one. So Kruger is a savanna ecosystem, eh? Very big park, lots of animals, lots of wildlife, elephants, everything is there. Yeah, but unlike... Even the baobabs are there, eh? Just that you know. Yeah, few baobabs. <laughs> There's more like Amarula inside. Yeah. yeah. But unlike Kenya, people are not allowed to access the fuel, the mm -hmm. some of the mopani worms, but the, um, they do give permits. It's just, it's not heat. It's not easy to yeah. get the permit. So it's, they have a, a system of regulating it. Eh? So you're given a I guess you pay something to get a permit to harvest the, the, mar worms. the marula or the mopan woods. No, only mopan worms. They only mopan take from the so, park. So, what, so if you think about this park, eh, what do you think is most important for the managers? Uh, research, job employment, and... Tourist? Yeah, tourists, and mm -hmm. also the national status of the so, team mm -hmm. yeah. And for the local people? Well... If they could access, what would they do? They would do medicine. Mm -hmm. Mopan worms, you yeah. said. So mopan worms uh, look like a little caterpillar. Uh, they're they're edible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mopan and medicine mm -hmm. and maybe fruits. Yeah, and also fuel and firewood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I chose the Okavango Delta. In Botswana. Yes, in Botswana, mm -hmm. the largest inland delta in the world. So this is looks more like a savanna and a lot of marshland area as well, just to have an idea for people, eh? With a lot of wildlife. A lot of wildlife, yes. You know, it's, it's, it's And a few baobabs, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a route for uh, the movement of wildlife along four national uh, parks mm -hmm. around the Kaza area. So for the local people, what uh, they will benefit is uh, food, medicine, mm -hmm. uh, the spiritual value of the place. Spiritual value, very yes. important sometimes as well. And uh, for the managers? Well, for the manager, mostly would be uh, skill acquisition, employment, employment. Be tourism, tourism so income, yeah, income. And knowledge, you know, mm -hmm. whether like different managers have to share knowledge from Botswana, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. Zambia. So this is an area where there's a lot of in, or a fair amount of international collaboration. So yes. this it's also it's very important a point we didn't discuss. So it brings opportunity yeah. to bring these different people from different countries together. So this is a big opportunity for the manager as well. Yes. Very good point. Mm -hmm. Now the example yeah. from Cano yeah, Binyung, eh? In general, is a forest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ecosystem services are linked to people by providing mm -hmm. food production, food production, 
Air uh, yeah, purification. Air purification as well. Yeah, and uh, crop pollination and dissemination. Mm -hmm. Very important. So if you have a small forest and the area nearby is full of farms, this forest is very important to keep the bees and the other insects living while there's no crops in your farm. Very yeah, good point. Yeah. For managers are uh, facilitated to designing a business creation. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's more like related to yeah. tourism? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to yeah, income. And, mm -hmm. and uh, they, they prepare the research. So uh, they do research, so research, good. Uh, for example, for medicine and species. Ah, okay. Species. Yeah, uh, specifically not uh, for Rwanda. In Rwanda, the or park, national park are protected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why they, they, there is a policy that the money from tourism, mm -hmm. some percentage are given to the communities. Yeah, are, are entering the community, mm -hmm. facilitate them uh, in with a, other projects. Uh, as example, uh, health mm -hmm. facility. Mm -hmm. So it's a good point. So in some parts, like in Rwanda, the communities get some money from the tourism. Yeah. So that may also be important at the local level for their income maybe or for other activities. Mm -hmm. Of course you need to have tourists eh, mm -hmm. for this to happen. So in countries where we don't get a lot of tourists, then it's hard to get a benefit for the local people in terms of money. Good point. Mm -hmm. Next one. Rodrigue, which one are you giving? I will take an Lomami, example eh? of Lomami okay, good. National Park. So Lomami is a rainforest, lowland. This is not mountain, it's lowland. It has a lot of wildlife. Yeah. Like which wildlife? Bonobo. Bo, the wildlife of Lomami is lo, lo, Bonobo. Bonobo is a type of chimpanzee that is only found there in the whole world. And, and they there, have a few endemic primates as well. And yeah. there is uh, the one which was recently discovered in Lomami, Cercopithecus yeah. lomamiensis. So a new described species of primate. Eh? It's only, it's endemic to Lomami. To this park, yeah. yeah. And ecosystem service for, for local people is medicine plant. Medicinal plants. Bush meat. Bush meat. And fishes. And fish. Mm -hmm. And for the managers, what is the priority? What do you think? The priority is to, to conserve bonobo. Mm -hmm. and, so, and flagship species. Mm -hmm. And Cercopithecus lomami. And so, so, the managers are more focused on the conservation and the national importance of preserving these endemic species only found in this park in the whole world. But for the local communities, the priorities might be different. Good example. Do you want to give one? Yeah. Okay. One example from Ghana. Okay. So, I also have uh, the Kakum National Park. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's forest? Yeah, it's a tropical rainforest. So it's a forest. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has a, a canopy walkway mm -hmm. for ecotourism. Most of the trees there are very tall trees, so they decided to have a canopy walkway there just to conserve the forest. Mm -hmm. So they don't have a lot of animals left in this forest, yeah. but actually they were very smart to build this canopy walk. So tourists come to walk on top of the trees and see the forest from the top. So very, in, I've been there, very interesting intervention, yes. So for the local people, what might be the priority? So the local people get uh, medicinal... Uh, medicine? Uh, mm -hmm. Medicine, they also get food. Food, like yeah. wild fruits? Yes. Mm -hmm. Honey, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they also uh, going for their spiritual purposes. So they also have importance for their cultural, cultural purposes. purposes. Yeah. And for the managers? And for the managers, generally, uh, they think of conservation of the tropical forest. Conservation of biodiversity. Yeah, and also for international recognition, you know, when Tourism. they have uh, this kind of uh, resource. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for them because actually in Ghana there's little rainforest left. So this park is very important to keep it protected for the managers as a national symbol. Mm -hmm. Very good point. And it also uh, provides employment for the local people and the managers. Mm -hmm. well. So it's a good source of employment as well. Very good. Mm -hmm. Example from? From Rwanda. Okay. Uh, for us... Ni which forest? Which area? Uh, when I consider, for example, the Nyungwe National Park. Oh, you already mentioned Nyungwe. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to talk about volcanoes. <laughs> you see, the, the problem the, in Rwanda, the trend, they don't have many to choose, the, eh? So... <laughs> the trend seems to be the same. But you can talk about volcanoes. Yes. So volcanoes... Yes, is let a park. Me talk about volcanoes. Uh -huh. So it's a, is a special. Mm -hmm. So volcanoes, just to put into context, mm. is mountain forest and bamboo forest. Eh? Just to have an idea of the area, and it has the very famous gorillas. Mountain gorillas. Yeah. Yes. 
So that is particular compared to other national parks you have in mm. Rwanda. It's the only so park with mountain gorillas, correct? Yes, yes in the, the whole one. of the country. Yeah. So for the local people, what they, they get mainly from there, it is the water. Mm -hmm. That, that uh, mountain forest, mm -hmm. it is a source of water, then there are so different rivers mm -hmm. coming from outside of the forest. So water is very important. Yeah, mm -hmm. water is very important. And another thing they gather there is a, is a firewood mm -hmm. in the in the, the buffer zone, zone. Around, mm -hmm. around the park. Another thing they are gaining is that uh, when they started the conservation of the area, they have been removed outside of the park for different activities. They are mm -hmm. no longer allowed to go there for, yeah. for hunting, hunting or, yeah, yeah. for mm -hmm. collecting firewood in the core forest. In the core zone, yeah. Yes. Uh, medicines they're no longer allowed. In, mm -hmm. So what they do, they form cooperatives and develop some traditional activities. Like dancing, uh, mm -hmm. handcrafts, and then because the park is more visited by the tourists, they are ga gaining money. When the tourists mm -hmm. came, they dance, they show, they oh, buy they can some sell. handcrafts. Yeah. They so can it, sell. it's also important, yeah? Yes. Honeybees, they sell it, mm -hmm. that they, they grow mm -hmm. the, the honeybees around in the, the park. Mm -hmm. So those are the benefits they're getting. The so for local people, for it's local. a source of income, eh? not just from getting paid of having a park, but from the activities, the, the things they can sell to tourists. Very good point. Yes. Another thing is that uh, there is a 5, five or 15 percent of the revenue that gets shared back. For the money coming from the, the tourism, that there is a certain back. percentage given to local people in those cooperatives. Mm -hmm. And then there are also some activities such as the schools, such as mm -hmm. hospitals, mm -hmm. with around the protected areas for health improvement. Mm -hmm. So for the managers, if you allow me to move forward. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. For them, they target mainly the eco-tourism. Mm -hmm. The, where they get money. Mm -hmm. And that money, a certain percentage, as I said, it is going back to the local mm -hmm. people, but, but the big amount is it. To manage the park. Yes, yeah. to manage the park. And also, the another big activity for managers, now they started to, to take water outside of the mm -hmm. park for the people who are ah. not around the park. Mm -hmm. For example, or for Nyungwe specifically, that's when they are collecting water to be taken mm. at the, the districts outside of mm -hmm. the park. Mm. So I think we could add to this one, as, as he said, the mountain gorilla is only found in this park in Rwanda. So I guess it's very important for the managers to make sure that it's still there, because that's the main attraction. Yeah, maybe so one of the activities I didn't talk about, there is a one ceremony organized every year called Kwitizina, so that's naming the newborn gorillas. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the strategies to, to maintain them, to conserve them, to know the number of how they are increasing, yeah, yeah. to locate where they are in the mm -hmm. forest, but also to attract tourists to come to see uh, how what is happening. Yeah, yeah. What is happening. Mm -hmm. And it is one also of the, the conservation strategy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah to, it's marketing. To show the people yeah, yeah. that, uh, the local people that, uh, even though you are no longer allowed to go there to collect one, mm. what, so the reason behind is that these this animals, is. this part is yeah. very important, not mm. only for the local people, but also for the for country the, level. The yeah. Country level. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good point. Mm -hmm. His naming ceremony, is it? That's pretty zina. That is an Ikinya Rwanda, but mm. it, is, it is a process of naming the newborn gorillas. The, the baby Every gorillas. Every year the newborns are given a name. Mm. They're like humans. They all have names. They all know each other. The newborns. It is very rare that they are not there. Oh. Oh. So there That's the mandate, eh? to make sure they are there. Yeah, so <laughs> Sorry. The park so rangers have to be sure that mm -hmm. they are the newborns to locate where mm -hmm. they are. So that is the major task they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, an example from Tanzania? Yes. It's a Serengeti? Serengeti National Park. So, savanna and big wildlife, eh? Yes, big wildlife. So, for the locals, uh, the first uh, ecosystem service they rely on is bushmeat. It's obvious. Mm. And given the fact that, you know, this great migration, mm. when animals move from Serengeti and they spend one day in, in Kenya, <laughs> and then come back to Tanzania. <laughs> so the locals will like uh, just waiting for the animals to come and when they rent their crops, they will just Kill cut them. them and 
that's one thing. But another thing is, which is very interesting, is for medicinal purpose. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily from plants, but also small mammals. Mm -hmm. Special hairs, spe uh, porcupine. I use for medicine. Yeah, mm -hmm. for medicine purpose, tre treating stomach pains, all those mm -hmm. kind of things. That's another thing. Uh, firewood, of course, because the locals live next to the national park and it's protected. So sometimes the park is very big. So sometimes they'll sneak in and mm -hmm. put firewood for 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 daily use. So this makes like three. I know there could be many. Yeah, so no, there are many. I just said three. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure, sure. And but the managers? The managers, as most people put it, ecotourism because they're interested in making money so that they could be able to manage run the, the project. project. Yeah. That's number one. Also, there's what's called ecological things, like flood control, mm -hmm. one of the most important ecosystem services in Serengeti. And another thing is all these ecological interactions, the food chain, regulating the population of herbivores, carnivores. Having herbivores. enough carnivores to regulate. Yeah. Right, yeah. So those are the things they're interested in. Also, if you add carbon sequestration, yes, because yes. also Serengeti has savanna forest there. And it's big. Yeah. I think a very good point is that yeah. although it's savanna, the surface is insane, it's super big, so the numbers are very big. Yeah, sure. Very good point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me see if I can find another example from yeah. Rwanda. For me, I will talk about Akajira National Park. Okay. Um, and this one is not a rainforest? It's a savanna. It's a savanna. Uh, it mm -hmm. is located the, near the border of Tanzania. Mm -hmm. um, the managers of the park currently are focusing on developing uh, new products that can attract the tourists, mm -hmm. especially uh, the establishing the species that were uh, locally uh. extinct, like mm -hmm. lions and uh, black rhinos. So this is a park where they have wildlife, but a lot of it, or some of it, was um, went extinct. So the managers have a big interest in bringing back some of these flagship species like the lions to attract more tourists. Yeah, they also, so, mm -hmm. among other, uh, other uh, products they are developing includes uh, sport fishing, mm -hmm. which is currently attracting more tourists because uh, the park is uh, fed by Akajira River mm -hmm. and also different lakes. It has more mm -hmm. than seven lakes. So this is something we didn't mention, it's not just about sport hunting, it's also about sport fishing that yeah. could be a big activity for some areas, very good. Sure. So for local communities, uh, get water mainly mm -hmm. uh, for irrigation and mm -hmm. for, and for uh, living. cattle, and and for cattle. But mm -hmm. also they get firewood, mm -hmm. it is a uh, semi-dry SME area. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, very hard for them to find the uh, yeah, firewood. Of firewood. So firewood is very important. And maybe fodder for, for the animals? And fodder for because the you said animals. The and also fish. Fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From these rivers and lakes. Not just a sport fishing, but fishing for local communities. Sure. Very good. An example from Benin? Of course. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Boni Forest. Boni Forest mm -hmm. in Uemi Department. So this is a dry forest. Eh? It's not a rainforest. It's kind of a dry forest. Yes? yes? So local people in this area are most interested in non-timber products. So non-timber forest products? Like which one? Like um, dry wood. Uh, firewood? Yeah, firewood. Firewood, yeah. Uh, like uh, bush meat. Bush meat also? And uh, wild fruits as well. Wild fruits also? Mm -hmm. So, also in the forest, there is a water surface uh -huh. where they come to where they close because mm -hmm. in the area, so for finding water. whether you have to dig very deep. So, so, it's a dry area, so water is very important for these communities. They also enter the forest to find the water source, very important. Yes. Um, next, uh, the forest inhabit, uh, I'll say, a place for others for a voodoo. Mm -hmm. So it's a place where they do local ceremonies as well for black magic. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. for it's important. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, managers, mm -hmm. what uh, count the most is uh, timber products. Timber like products. Uh, mm -hmm. Tick species. Mm -hmm. yeah that they uh, grow and so we can see the difference local people care about the non-timber products yes. and the water for example and the ceremonial that they do mm -hmm. while the managers they care about the timber in this case because they want to make money selling it mm -hmm. i'm guessing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what else is very important for manager is uh, 
Indeed, the place is uh, about uh, 200 hectares and a huge part of this is uh, non-natural, so they grow ticks. Mm -hmm. And very few parts is for natural mm -hmm. uh, biodiversity, so they make uh, the best effort for mm -hmm. local people to not get access to that natural area. So they're trying mm -hmm. to protect the biodiversity in this area. Mm -hmm. Now I would challenge it, eh? why they don't plant indigenous species? Mm -hmm. And then they would be everywhere, not just the wildlife, but also the resources to look at. So that's why you learn and go back and tell. Okay. Good. Okay. New yeah. example from Tanzania? Yeah, another example from Tanzania. It's, uh, I'm taking an example from East Sambara Mountains. The East Sambara Mountains, yes. so it's forest ecosystem again? Yeah, it's forest ecosystem where I'm, I'm doing also my research on mm -hmm. the flying moth. And if for local people, the uh, ecosystem services they depend on is uh, water. Water, important. For, mm -hmm. And uh, there are also source of host plant in the in the uh, food plant for, mm -hmm. uh, for for butterfly mm -hmm. butterflies because they are they are farming butterfly, so they get some um, some host plants and the food plants from the forest. And they sell the butterflies. Yeah, yes. Do you hear the, that? Yeah. So in this forest, they have this project, the local communities, where they farm butterflies, mm -hmm. and they get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So by the fact that they have the forest nearby, where they can get some of these plants, where the butterflies live, yeah. it's very important for them because yeah. otherwise they would not be able to farm butterflies. But, but butterflies. Yeah. Uh, sorry, just a second. They fetch a high price yeah. in the rich countries and one of the things I mean I'm sure you can tell us more about is that the rich people when they get married they after the wedding they let the butterflies they open these boxes and butterflies of the color you can choose fly away and it's super beautiful in the films and so on <laughs> so of course if you can't afford such a big wedding you can also afford the butterflies but this is a good source of income, yeah, income for local people yeah they're looking also for this uh, adult butterfly from their forest mm -hmm. and they take them to their cage in the past time, they export them to the other countries, but today they, uh, the trade is abandoned by the government. Okay. But they use that for, as a source for adult butterflies, so that they can be taken to their cages. But they are still doing this. Yeah, they get some adult butterfly from the forest and they, they keep them in their cages and sell this, um, I mean, the, the pupa yeah. to the local people to to make the earrings and the other other local local materials. So he, in this case, mm -hmm. it's not traded internationally. They make it for like um, yeah. handcraft. Yeah, handcraft. And also they get uh, food. For example, honey. In they the get honey. From, yeah. yeah. And food from the forest, but also firewood mm -hmm. and the construction material for the houses. Mm -hmm. um, also, the the cattle keepers in the area, and the, it's a big project. Um, they, they keep this and they sell it to the large companies so mm. they produce uh, milk from their cattle mm -hmm. so they get fodder plants from their farm. So they can also get fodder for their animals. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. And the managers? Yeah, for the managers, yeah, they depend on research because we pay. Sometimes when you go there for research activities, we pay fee. Mm -hmm. And also for uh, tourists. Tourist. Mm -hmm. Because they, there is a campaign fee. Mm -hmm. They are paying for uh, campaign mm -hmm. fee also. But this, uh, the forest acts as a source of natural plants because they get a lot of uh, these seedlings from the forest and, then and they, they plant them in. Else, else so a very good point. So there's these reforestation, yeah. so they get the mm -hmm. natural seedlings yes. from the forest, yeah. they let them grow big and they plant them elsewhere. Very yeah. good point. Because the forest was established during the colonial period, during mm. the Germanic uh, period. And there is a big nursery there in Amman mm -hmm. Nature Forest Reserve. And the first one is in Da and Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. yeah, along the coast. But some of the cities were transferred to the Amman Nature Reserve. Mm -hmm. and they, um, from there also, they use those cities to other areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. To, to the other areas. But uh, the area is surrounded by industrial plantation, the tea plantation. Tea? So, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. tea plantation. So it acts as a source of employment to uh, so, local people. To local as people. As, uh, for many years. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I think we saw quite a few examples in the room in different countries, different habitats about how different it can be for local people, what is important to them, 
and what is important to the managers. And I think I just don't want to say that one is better than the other. I just want you to think about these differences. How can we find a room for understanding? Because of course we don't, we cannot uh, leave the local communities to go starving and dying. And of course the managers also have a job to keep and a mandate to follow. So I think it was just for you to think a little bit about these discrepancies. So some of the ecosystem services that you will be learning and you'll be valuing, you can get the information from remote sensing, you can see it in ArcGIS and you can play with the numbers, but there's some other ecosystem services that are harder to get information, especially if they're illegal, like the bushmeat, or maybe if it's hard to quantify, like the cultural value. But I mean, just from going around the room, we saw a few examples of how it important is for the culture of the people, the natural habitat. So I think this is the end of it for today. Remember I gave you the um, indigenous fruit tree exercise that we'll discuss briefly on Monday.